I think for three reasons. First of all, too many of them believe uh, that there is nothing that they can do, that the powerful forces arrayed against them uh, within their own country and outside around the world prevent anything meaningful that they might do. And history suggests exactly the opposite, that there are many things they can do in the context of beginning and waging their own civilian-based struggle. Once they see that, then it's a question of what they do. What strategies and tactics do they come up with? The more they have an understanding of what's happened before in history, the more they understand uh, what the consequences are of making certain kinds of strategic and tactical choices, the better the odds that they will be successful.